Hey everyone, what's up? It's Pro here, and welcome back to another episode. This time we're going to be covering skills. As you can see here, we have the attack. Uh, the first one in the index, I believe, is always the uh, the main attack, if I remember. Uh, so let's go ahead and make one. We're going to make, make a skill called Ice. Alright, so let's give it an icon here by double-clicking the little uh, spot there. And let's give it a frosty-looking icon right here. And the description is basically what's uh, what it says like when you're selecting a skill. Use the power of ice against your enemies. Targets one enemy. Let's just say it targets one enemy. Uh, skill type. You can make it a magic or a special type. In this case we're using magic or you can make it none. Yeah, we're using magic. Let's make it cost. 5 MP, uh, no toilet paper cost, no, no TP cost. Scope, one enemy. You can change all kinds of stuff here. Um, random enemy. It's, it's self explanatory, though. The user will, it'll automatically cast it on the person who uses the spell. So let's do one. You can also say none if you want, like, some sort of a special effect to happen. So we're going to do one enemy. Uh, occasion battle screen because we don't want to be able to use it during the menu. Uh, you can say never if you never want to be able to use it. Uh, you can use something like this for conditional branches later uh, to check and see if you have something, but you don't want to be able to use it or anything. Or always, but you can use it at both. Invocation. Okay. So the speed basically means like he will, um, if it's a higher number, then he, like, you can override the character's speed. So if your character is slow and normally he can't, uh, uh, go like before the other uh, enemies or the other party members. It's kind of like quick attack from Pokemon. You, you know, uh, you can make it go first or you can make it go extremely slow, like last. Whatever you want to do with it. Okay, success rate determines whether or not like you actually use the uh, skill properly. For example, if you want a, if you have like an extremely powerful magic spell, uh, but it only works half the time, and sometimes it doesn't work at all, then you would use 50%. Uh, the percentage 100 is it always works basically repeat is how many times you repeat the move and TP gain is how much TP you gain from using it uh, hit type you have certain uh, physical and magical certain basically has like no um, thing it's just it is treated as a hit and here's the animation uh, let's go ahead and do let's find ice here you go ice one and the message, it, this is what happens when uh, when you use it. So you can say casts, so you can say um, user casts and then the name of the uh, skill or magic spell up here. Uh, right here you have weapon type. You can make it require an item to use. Like in order to use this spell you have to have, uh, for example, a cane. You can also make it require uh, other things as well. Over here, uh, the damage type, you have uh, all sorts of things you can do. You can drain health, which means you can basically uh, absorb health from enemies. Same thing with MP. You can recover, like if you're using a heal spell. Uh, but you don't really need to do this for heal spell, um, but you could. Uh, MP damage and HP damage. We're going to do HP damage. So basically what that means is you can, like, you can make a uh, sort of spell that that damages your enemy's MP rather than his physical health. Anywho, right here you have the different element types. It's not a physical, it's an ice type. So we're going to set it to ice. The formula. Okay, this is pretty interesting. You have A and B. A stands for you. B stands for the enemy. So uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to rely on magic attacks. So let's do A dot M-A-T, which stands for the attacker's magic attack. Uh, your the the user's magic attack times four minus b dot m d f I think yes um dot m d f and times two so that's the basic setup for a magic spell as you can see here uh well actually they have a little bit different but this actually works pretty well you know what let's go ahead and do a uh, beginning amount as well I guess let's do twenty four plus so there we go. And then the variance. The variance basically, um, like, it, it determines the changeability of this value. 
So, um, it can be between negative 20% and positive 20% um, of this value that can be affected. So let's say, for example, you have 400. Uh, if, you, if, if your damage is 400, a variance of 20% would, would do anything between subtracting 20% from the max damage, or from the, the damage that you're doing, to gaining 20%. So um, that's pretty much how that works. Critical hits. Uh, this will allow you to use. Uh, this is okay. This will basically allow you to have a chance of getting a critical. Okay, so over here we have the effects. The effects. Uh, you can recover health percentage or by base value, MP by percentage or base value, or you can gain some TP. You can also add a state. So if you have a move like poison, you can you can apply. Uh, the state poison or you can have like a death spell and have the the success rate random to have a chance of casting death on the enemy you can also remove states um, all that so then uh, you can do add buff so it increases your max HP for five turns uh, for example or any other stat you can also add a debuff which does the exact opposite it de uh, decreases it you can remove buff and you can remove debuff as well uh, other you can um, okay the special effects you can say it causes your party to escape uh, you can grow your uh, your total your max HP by a certain amount if you use this skill you can learn um, a skill from using this skill <laughs> and you can also call a common event here's the notes and that's about that so that's it uh, thank you guys very much for watching I'll see you all later peace out